racism in the board. Obviously, we saw um, the oh, three yeah. people come out. Um, I don't know if you know. Uh, you, you'll obviously know Ian John Lewis and Jeff Fines, <laughs> yeah. but I don't know if you knew, knew the uh, the female MMA former MMA boxer. Um, what what did you make of it all? Um, I saw I saw a bit of it. I saw. I don't know if it's the whole show, but I watched the thing that was on. I think it was. See, I caught it on YouTube. I think it was Sample. C Four News. I think it was um, about seventeen minutes long. Um, this, I, I just find it very, very difficult on the um, on the Ian John Lewis thing. I like Ian John Lewis. Right? I've always got on with him. But to call out the fact that he got bumped off, sacked, whatever you want to call it, demoted. I think it was demoted, and then he he, he said, "Oh, I'm I'm going over to Bieber or whatever it is." Um, to call that out on racism, mate. He how many how many scorecards did he turn out with that were absolute dog shit and an absolute joke, you know? And how many times were people saying? You know, we have these conversations all the time. You stick a mic in front of people after, oh, what do you think to that scorecard? What do you think to these judges' decision? It happens all the time. Happens all, that's nothing to do with the race. That's because you was consistently putting out a shit scorecard. And so eventually, and then I think it was a, I think, yeah, it, it's one of those where it's like the straw that breaks a camel's back, I suppose. The cattle fight. It's all right saying, I think Victor Lachlan gave it, did he give it uh, yeah. Taylor by a round or something like that? That that's a that's a fight where you can see that. But Ian John Lewis gives it by about three four rounds. So that's kind of like, mate, how have you seen that? That's the last time we can do it. We're going to demote you. I haven't got a problem with that. If you if you've got if if you're consistently turning out shit cards, you should be demoted. This is what we we're calling out for: is that judges should be able to accountable. Don't then spit your toys out. And say, oh well, I'm 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 leaving board. I'm going to go over to this or and then start calling out racism for it. I don't buy that. I don't buy that because he had enough chances. See, I've seen a lot of people say that about Ian, but what about Jeff Hind? I don't know enough. I don't know enough about that that situation. Um, I met Jeff a couple of times early on, like years ago. Nice guy. Um, I can't speak on 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 his experience. R remember what he was saying. What his his. Um, I think he, he, he talked about some comments that were made about you know his background and uh, off the cuff yeah. comments that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. So so and he's, and he's never gone from B to A. He's always yeah. been B. Yeah. I mean, and again, I didn't see him referee that often, so I can't say whether he was good enough to go to go up. But from what I saw and what I know of him, he's a nice guy, a good guy, and, and fair and honest referee. Mm -hmm. So on that, listen, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. But have you ever experienced something yourself, Dave? Because you've been in boxing a with long, long with time. The board, no. Have they pissed me off? Yeah. Have they? Would, uh, do I find them to be absolute arseholes with small old promoters when a small old promoter's losing eight grand on a show and they're still wanting their percentage of tax money? And and, and the uh, the answer that I got back was, well, if you don't, it, um, uh, if you can't afford it, then you shouldn't be promoting it. Fair enough. What can you say? Was the, the right. But it's the attitudes that sometimes you have. When the attitudes, when you're trying to get a fighter passed for a prospect that's just like 2-0, and oh, never had an amateur background, and they knock him back, and then you see him on a TV show boxing some superstar prospect, a couple of weeks later, it's like, what the fuck? Do I think there are souls sometimes? Yes. And do I think that sometimes their attitudes can be a little bit off? Like, they're the supreme power and being? Yes. Does it piss me off? Yes. But have I ex have I experienced any racism from them? No. But it's a big organisation. There's a lot of people there. Do I f do I think that there'll be some racists in there? Probably so, because it's it's a slice of of the population, the same as anywhere. It's like anywhere you go, you're gonna face some sort of that thing. Do you know what I mean? So I can't I can't speak for everybody else's, and no doubt there are some people out there that'll say that that that, that there is racism in there. But I guarantee you, if you're working for Apple, if you're working for Google, if you're working, for, there is always going to be somebody that's racist. There's always going to be somebody that's sexist. There's always going to be somebody that's whatever. Do you know what I mean? Because that's just how life is. But 
I don't know if you saw the, the female in the in the mat. I was, I was reading some comments online. I think uh, I think one of her complaints was about the tights. I think she wore tights and she got told so, off. So so okay. But on, on that one, so I've what seen her there? socials, um, and I don't know if you've seen people have highlighted on her socials. Uh, she doesn't. She, she wears basically revealing clothes, but and then her complaints about tights in her. Right, so that is that for me. That's somebody jumping on bandwagon, because I've had where where. I've helped somebody to do a corner before. The board have got the rules about what you can wear in the corner, right? And I've, I'm going back years. And I helped somebody do a corner and um, because the training didn't turn up. And I'd, I'd, I only went to go and watch the show and I got a pair of jeans on. I've got in the corner and I'm getting told off because I've got jeans on. Fair enough. And then I was actually then, well, I got told, but then with well, Eubank, Eubank wore a suit and shit in, in a corner and nothing, nobody ever said anything about him. I think Buddy McGate came over and wore jeans and nobody said anything. I was like, well, what's that, what's that? That's, that's not racism, that's just their rules. They've got, you've got to, if you want to wear something else, then you let them know first. So from what I picked up on that, she's rocked up, gone in there with, with leggings on, not a problem. But she's not informed, and all the guy said is you can't. That that's not allowed. And then he said, you know, you, you you'll you'll be invited to board as, for a hearing, which happens. That does happen if you do rock up in something. Else. So I don't think that's that's anything to talk about on a racing point of view. Um, they they let her carry on boxing, and then asked her to come up. Now the. I don't know the ins and outs about a record and stuff, but it's normally with the board is is like four losses and you get you get called up in front of the board um, in terms of your license or a chat. Um, so I don't know what the chat was about or anything. But then if you tell me that she's wearing you know quite really revealing clothes on her Instagrams and stuff like that, well, she's not really you know. Right, interesting thoughts there, Dave. Uh, appreciate your time as always. Uh, anything else you want to add before I let you go? No, not really. Just uh, thanks for coming to the gym. No worries. Big up man and big up by hydrate and oh, big, hydrate. big yeah, up definitely. Coldwell Boxing. Thank you.